Hey guys, what's up? So welcome back to Let's Make a Forge Mod, episode 8 of the series. Now today we're going to be doing something different. We're going to be making our very own creative tab for all of our blocks and items that we're going to be making later on in the future tutorials of Let's Make a Mod. So anyways guys, if you guys were following me on Twitter yesterday, well obviously you guys are all following me, I think. Anyways, if you guys were following me on Twitter, you would have got the source of episode 8 one day early. So this video normally comes out like two days after the source has been released. So if you guys are following me on Twitter, that's why I encourage you guys to do so because you guys would get the source early. So here is the source and this is what we're going to be making. As you guys could see from this picture, here is our creative tab we're going to be making. So I have already had it like in my Eclipse. I'm not going to remove the, the, the source that I've already added in uh, because not only you guys get the source download for episode 8, but you guys could get my whole entire download for all of the series I've been doing. So I'll, I'll just grab that later on. Anyways, this is the creative tab we're going to be making. So you can see our Topaz item is going to be right there. And when you're in creative mode, you can switch between the tabs. Here's all of our blocks and items that we have added in. So I'm going to show you guys how to get this working, how to make it uh, work in your Minecraft game. And how about we get started? So what you guys are going to do is go to my description and click on the first link, which should take you here to the creating mods forum, which I created. So what you're going to do is click there and scroll all the way down past mod loader. You're going to scroll all the way down to you see right here forge. So this is episode eight of forge. You're going to show the spoiler. And now that you have showed the spoiler, how about we go and look at all these codes. But first off, let's go ahead and open up eclipse. So here's the eclipse. I'm going to open that up and link it to my uh, forge tutorial 1.5.2. And there we go, it's already linked up. So, what I'm gonna do is locate my main class in Eclipse. So, I'm gonna go here to Minecraft Source, scroll all the way down to my package, which is SCM owns tutorial, and there you go. So, now that I have found my, uh, my package, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up Tutorial Mod or whatever your main class is, and here you're gonna be copy and pasting the first line of code. So, let's go back to my form, and as you guys could see, the first line of code is right here Public Static Creative Tabs Your Tab. So, go to Episode 8, highlight this right here. Right click and copy and paste it right here underneath your uh, public class tutorial right here. Make a new comment if you really want to and call it uh, and just paste it right in. So I've already done this. So this is why I'm not going to be copying and pasting the codes because it's already in my game. So anyways, here it is. So public static creative tabs. This is what we're going to be making. So this is the name of your creative tab. I'm going to keep it tab your tab all right so you could change it to whatever you want you could like uh call it my tab or or you know david's tab or whatever you want this is the name of your tab but it does not show up in the game so you don't have to worry about that so what does this tab your tab equal it equals a new tab scm owns mod so uh tab scm owns tutorial mod now this is the actual class you're going to be making you're going to get a red underline right here but if you do have yourself a red underline what you have to do is you just hover over the red underline and create yourself a new class right here. Create class for tab SCM owns tutorial mod. All right, so you're gonna do that if you, ha if you have yourself a red underline, which you should have. Anyways, let's continue on. And what this method right here does is that when it's registering your uh, creative tab, even in a server, it's gonna get a, a new unique ID. So it does not conflict with any other creative tabs. So this is what it means by creative tab dot get next ID. It's gonna look for the next available ID and claim it for itself. Anyways, if we look right here inside these quotes, it says SCM owns tutorial mod. What that's gonna do is when, if you look at this picture right here, it, when you hover over the arrow above this actual tab, it's going to say SCM owns tutorial mod. That's what it indicates. So whatever hovers up here, it's going to it's gonna say this right here inside these quotes. So you could change this to like, uh, what's up or something, whatever you want. But I like to just keep it original and put SCM owns tutorial mod. So when you happen to hover over it with the mouse, it's going to say SCM owns tutorial mod. So that's what that little quote uh, does. Anyways, what you're going to do now is once you have copy and paste the code, you have to make yourself a new class for the tab SCM owns tutorial mod. So create yourself a new class and it's quite simple. See, it's going to show red underline. You hover over that and go here to create class and just click finish and you should have yourself a new tab, which is right here. Mine's right here called tab SCM owns tutorial mod. Open that up. And once this shows up, then you have to go here and you have to make sure that you, uh, you copy and paste this line of code right here. So this is the next line of code you're going to be copying. It's a lot, but uh, just copy all this. But before you do all this, I know you're going to still have an issue with uh, the creative tabs. Uh, just make sure that you import net Minecraft creative tabs tab. All right. So this is your import that you need for this line of code in your main class. So let's just go back to this and rewind a bit because I know you guys are still having red underlines right here. 
right here. You guys should have yourself a red underline. So you just hover over this and it's going to say import or you could just do it manually. Go here to the import section and just copy this right here. Net Minecraft Creative Tabs tab. All right. So this is your import that you need before you start making your very own creative tab in your main class. So once you have done that and you created the class for tab SCM owns mod, then you are good to go. I'm sorry if this tutorial might be confusing for you guys, but it's just all review. You guys should already know how to make classes and how to fix all these issues. I'm just supplying the source and you guys could just mess around with it and all that stuff. Let's go back to the tab SCM owns tutorial mod. So after you copy and paste uh, this source right here from my form and you paste it right into this class. Now let's go ahead and overview it. So what does this, uh, what does this do right here? Get tab icon item index. What does this do? Well, you guys all know this picture, right? Let's just go back to the picture right here. You see this right here? This is your icon. This is what item is going to be spotlight or block. So if you want, let's say your sword to be spotlight, just change this method right here. Tutorial mod dot topaz item, just change it to your actual item. So if you didn't name your main class tutorial mod and you called it, let's just say block, then you have to make sure block, let's say block dirt, and you have to change this to block ID if it if it's a block. There you go. And if it's from a different class, you have to import it. See, this is a block class, so you have to import block. And for some reason it didn't work because I imported the wrong block method. So I'm gonna hover over this and get the right one, which should be this one. A block from net minecraft block there you go so if you guys want to change it around you guys could do so if you really want to that's if you want to change the spotlight so I'm gonna change mine back to tutorial uh, tutorial mod dot what, what do I have from tutorial mod I have topaz topaz axe I'm gonna change I'm gonna change it to the topaz block all right now that we have placed our spotlight item now we're good to go but what's this right here uh, what's this get translated label or tab label what does this do? Well, if you guys look right here, the GUI itself actually has some lettering or some words. This right here, this SCMO's tutorial mod, that's what's going to be displaying right here on this. So you could place anything you want. So if you want to put, uh, you know, SCM owns items or something like that, Billy's items, you could change that to your liking. And once you change this, it's actually going to change the lettering right here on the GUI itself. So anyways, now that I have done that, now let's go ahead and add our items to the actual creative tab. So it's quite simple. Let's just check out the source again. Scroll all the way down. This is the method or this is the actual code line you're going to be using. If you guys remember when we were making blocks and items, we did have a little method uh, saying set creative tab and it said instead it said creative tab dot uh, combat or creative tab dot brewing or something like that. That's what uh, we had last time. But we're going to change it and put it to our tab. So in order to do that, what you need to do is locate your topaz block or your topaz or whatever you want and uh, not your main class. You have to locate your topaz or. So let's click there. And right here, if you don't already have it, make sure you just paste in a uh, set creative tab tutorial mod dot tab your tab. So you have to link your main class and the name of the tab. All right. So uh, it should look like this. It should be gone. It shouldn't be there. And what you have to do is just paste that in. You go to my forum right here. Copy this copy go here and just paste that right in there you go and uh, if you have a different main class then you have to change this to your like you know Billy's mod or something like that and your tab name that you have set anyways with that said that should be able to work you have to do that for all of your uh, blocks and items so we have right here SCM owns basic acts let's open that up I went ahead and paste in set creative tab and I've already done it right here so inside this right here right underneath super item material you just paste it right in there uh, where it says item ID and all that stuff. You just you just paste it right in there. You can't really copy this and paste it outside of the brackets because that's not really going to work. You see, you can't paste it right there. You have to make sure that you paste it right here inside the item ID for it to register. And you could do that uh, to the gem item, which we made before. You see right here, uh, set creative tab, tutorial tab and all that stuff. Uh, we did it for that too. So anyways, guys, if this was confusing, I should have made a tutorial on how to copy and paste because that's what re really we've been doing for like a very long time. And it's quite simple just explaining it like this because uh, you guys should fully understand how to do this. So next time you make yourself an item, let's say you make yourself a new gem item, then you can make a new class called gem yellow items and stuff. And you can set it to any creative tab you want. You could set it here to uh, this creative tab, which is yours, or you could just go back to the original creative tab, which should be creative tab let's see creative tab dot and there should be like a whole list of creative tabs but uh, I think it's creative dots uh, no I, I, I forgot the line of code I think it's right here somewhere 
somewhere in here we have ourselves uh how to set right here basic items so this was the original creative tab which was creative tab tabs yes here it is yeah creative tabs tab material so we just replaced this uh set creative tab creative tab materials to our new creative tab that we just made which is this one so now that you guys made your very own creative tab then you guys are good to go let me just restart everything Control z to restart so now that you have copied and pasted the correct codes, then you are good to go. Another thing is, like I was going to say early in the beginning of this video, you guys could get my whole entire source, everything we've worked on, all of this, my whole entire package and the item uh, pictures, you could get it all in one download. You see this? All of this stuff we've been working on is now in one big download right here. So click on episode 8 right here. Just show it, scroll all the way down and click here. And then it's going to take you to my uh, website. And here is the whole entire source download of everything we've been working on. You click right here on this download and you'll be able to download everything. And all you have to do is just like run it in the mod. You can open it up with uh, Notepad++ and you could read all the codes we have been working on. So if that wasn't confusing enough, then be sure to go to my help forums and, uh, you know, post a topic there because we'll be sure to help you out there. Uh, post a comment of what you think and uh, what you want to see next in the tutorials because it was quite simple to actually make this it wasn't really that hard and also if you guys got confused go back to this forum and just read all of the stuff i put because it makes complete sense really go here and it's going to explain it all in words so anyways guys there we go let's go ahead and launch minecraft and right after we launch it let's go ahead and uh, check and see if it actually worked so while this is running in the background i'm not sure why he does this all the time but while this is doing it, we're going to go into our game and just make sure that it shows up. And if it does show up, then we did something right. We actually added in our very own creative tab and you can place any items that you like there. So I'm going to wait till this actually loads up and I'll be right back. All right. So now it's loading the game. It's a little bit buggy. And there we go. So here is the actual game of Minecraft. Obviously, we're going to go to single player, go into any world that we like. And now that if I go into creative mode, you should see that there is a little arrow right here. And you click on that arrow and it should take you up here to the SCM owns tutorial mod. I changed the actual spotlight of the item, which uh, you guys already know how I did that. So anyways, here's all of our tools so we could grab all these tools. And if you're missing a tool, then be sure to go back to the class that you made it right here. Make sure you go back to the class, which is SCM owns basic hoe and make sure that you set the creative tab to tutorial mod dot your tab. All right. So that is it. If you don't have yourself a main class called tutorial mod, then change it to your main class and put tab your tab or whatever you named it. And that's it. This is the only line of code that you have to set after you've already made your tab work in your tutorial mod. So here's our tutorial mod tab your tab. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was a really quick one. I have to I have to go and record some other stuff. So that's why this tutorial had to fly by a little bit more quicker than the other ones. So anyways, guys, hopefully you guys understand it. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you guys for your support. See you guys later.